So here is the actual stern glass topograph itself. Now let's start off with some basic specifications here. We are looking at a 42 millimeter case here. In terms of thickness, we are looking at 13.5 millimeters, which is not really that thick, but it's a bit chunkier than, you know, uh, their quartz model, obviously, that uses a quartz movement. This has an automatic movement. And we have these nice lugs here, which bend downward a bit and kind of stick out of the side of the case. Very circular case shape. The whole case is comprised of 316L solid brushed stainless steel all around. We do get our crown over here, which is polished. And it is a pull and push crown with five ATMs or 50 meters of um, water resistance there. Now, some other stuff about this watch. Well, the movement inside of this watch is the Miyota 821A. And that's basically an upgrade from the Miyota 8215. And we even get a glimpse of it through the uh, exhibition case back here, which I believe is sapphire, held on by actual real screws. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six screws, hold down this case back which is very German-like, and a lot of German watches use screws to hold down the case back. It looks a bit more professional and a bit neater in my opinion. So here's a little glimpse of the movement. As you can see, this has the hollowed out rotor, some nice stripes on the main plate there, and you can really see the inner workings of the watch. Now, in terms of accuracy, I have been getting about plus 11 seconds a day, which is pretty good for a movement like this. Uh, so it's definitely okay in my book. Now, the actual caliber does uh, have a 42-hour power reserve, which is very good. Uh, 42 hours is definitely enough for you, I think. And does beat at 21,600 vibrations per hour, uh, which is a bit slower than 28,800, obviously. But it's you know, barely noticeable. Now, the exact uh, crystal used is a genuine domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. I'm trying to get you in there. You can see the dome on it, and you can see that anti-reflective coating. Uh, they did a pretty good job on the crystal. It's very, very snug into the case here. It doesn't really, there's the dome, there you see it. Looks pretty good. I think they did a good job on the crystal. Now, uh, some basic functions of this watch first before we get into the whole Bauhaus dial here. Uh, so we have a pull and push crown. Your first position is self-winding. As you can see here, the watch is already running. As you see the seconds hand sweeping. Uh, first position, we get our quick set date which is very legible. Final position, weird thing, this movement is not a hacking movement, but mine is actually hackable. So <laughs> I don't know um, if they modded the later versions, but I did watch some other videos of some other YouTubers and their models are not hacking. But as you can see, my model is hacking. So I'm not sure if they upgraded that, but that's great for me. I think it's really nice to have a hacking on the A21. Uh, it's fairly accurate, you know, plus 11 seconds a day. Can't really complain about that. Now, the dial itself is a matte black dial. On the chapter ring, very neatly printed in a white Bauhaus font. We get zero through 60, where you can read the seconds. Very nice. Uh, we get baton style hands with a nice white tip on each one. Uh, very legible, the seconds hand. If you didn't notice, the seconds hand does not have a counterbalance, which is very Bauhaus. Uh, all of the print is very neat. There are no uh, problems with that whatsoever. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Um, you get your 12 through 11 here to set your time and a minute track on the dial. So pretty simple there. A uh, nice brushed finish all around. I think the brushing is really good actually, especially on the sides. You can see uh, the brushing is very fine. There's very smooth. There's uh, no blemishes or nothing like that. Now getting to the band, it's a 20 millimeter band as you can see. Now this is the Milanese style bracelet. And I do like these ones because you can just pop this up here and just adjust it to whatever size you want. So straight out of the box, you know, you can fit it right to your wrist perfectly. And as you see, the buckle itself is signed with that same font, stern glass, which I think they did a very good job on the buckle. I like, I like the buckle. Also a nice thing is the quick release. So you can just change straps very easily. Pop this open, comes right off. No need for a spring bar tool, which is pretty cool. Uh, there is no loom on this watch, if you didn't notice. Most Bauhaus style watches don't really contain uh, much loom. Uh, that's just how it is. But overall, I think they did a very good job on this watch. And as you can see, it looks pretty stunning on the angles with that domed crystal. Right now, I want to throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist, show you what it looks like on the wrist. So there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. Uh, lug to lug, we're looking at 51 millimeters. And like I stated earlier, 13.5 millimeters thick does fit pretty nice on the wrist. And I think it's due to that circular case shape. 
Even with that longer lug to lug, it still fits my wrist pretty good. There's the Milanese band as you can see with that nice polishing over here where it connects. And there's the buckle, very clean, very Bauhaus. I do like how it uh, came out. So there it is, you do see that nice crystal. The crystal, I don't know, the crystal just is really nice on this watch. Uh, the way they domed it, it's really nice and definitely goes along with the dial as well. Uh, in terms of weight, it's only 122 grams on this uh, steel mesh bracelet here. With the case and everything, 122 grams. So, you know, that's not heavy, that's not light, it's just the perfect weight, I think. It feels nice. This is definitely a tougher watch though, like, it's definitely a more durable watch than some of their thinner models, I think. And that's a good thing if you want a bit of, more of a masculine watch, you can kind of beat around a little bit, uh, which is pretty nice. Also, they did give me a discount code to share with you guys, and I will not make any commission from that code. The code is WATCHADDICT25. Now, the price of this exact model is 316 US dollars. That's without the code. And you can take off 25 euros or 28 US dollars, which will bring it down to 288 US dollars with the code WATCHADDICT25. So definitely take advantage of that if you're looking for something like this. If you want an affordable style Bauhaus design watch from a German brand, not as, not necessarily made in Germany, but it is a German brand, uh, definitely something to take a look at. And I look forward to what they have in the future. Now they come out with a lot of models lately, and I think they're doing quite a good job at, you know, what they're trying to do in terms of Bauhaus design, which is, uh, you know, something new uh, for the micro brand world. There's not many... Bauhaus design style brands, and I think they're doing quite a good job. So once again, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. You can check out the full written article on this watch at WatchAddictChannel.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at WatchAddictChannel. Right now, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon, so you never miss another Watch Addiction upload. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.